in today's lecture we will discuss a solution of system of linear equations using gauss jacobi method to use gauss jacobi method the system must be principal dominant what is principal dominant in this equation in first equation the coefficient of x1 must be dominant that means a11 is greater than a12 and a13 in second equation the coefficient of x2 that is a22 is dominant that means a22 is greater than a21 and a23 in third equation the coefficient of x3 that is a33 must be greater than a31 and a32 that means for example if you are considered an equation a system of equations that is is the equation 3x1 minus 2x2 plus 5x3 is equal to 6 4x1 minus 3x2 plus x3 is equal to 2 and minus 2x1 plus 6x2 minus x3 is equal to 3 irrespective of the signs the equation in first equation x3 is dominant but not x1 in second equation x1 coefficient is dominant that means 4 is greater than 3 and 1 if uh, we neglect the sign 4 is greater than 3 and 1 in third equation 6 is the coefficient of x x2 that is 6 is dominant than x1 coefficient and x3 coefficient so by rearranging these equations that means uh, since in second equation x1 coefficient is uh, dominant that's why we are arranging the second equation as the first equation in first equation the coefficient of x3 is a dominant so it is written as a third equation and in third equation the coefficient of x2 6 is dominant so that's why it is arranged as a second equation so now the system is a principal dominant that means the diagonal elements are dominates in the respective equations in first equation x1 coefficient is dominant 4 is greater than 3 and 1 in second equation x2 coefficient is dominant it is 6 is greater than 2 and 1 in third equation x3 coefficient is dominant that means 5 is greater than 3 and 2 so once uh, the given system is the principal dominant then we will express x1 using the first equation that means taking these two terms to the right hand side and writing x1 is equal to 1 by a11 into p1 minus a12 x2 minus a13 x3 since in second equation the x2 coefficient is dominant that's why we will write x2 from the second equation as x2 is equal to taking these two terms to the right hand side and dividing with a22 x2 is equal to 1 by a22 into b2 minus a21 x1 minus a23 x3 since in third equation x3 coefficient is uh, dominant uh, that means uh, so we will write x3 from the third equation that is x3 is equal to 1 by a33 into b3 minus a31 x1 minus a32 x2 so in the example also we have written from the first equation x1 is equal to 1 by 4 into taking these two terms to right hand side it is a 2 minus of my plus 3x2 minus x3 since in third second equation x2 coefficient is dominant so x2 is equal to 1 by 6 into 1 by 6 into 3 plus 2x1 plus x3 since in third equation x3 coefficient is dominant so we are writing x3 from the third equation as 1 by x3 is equal to 1 by 5 into 6 minus 3x1 plus 2x2 so once it is done we initially assume the zeroth approximations of x1 x2 x3 are is equal to zero so on substituting these values in x1 x2 x3 we will get in x1 since x2 x3 are zero x1 is b1 by a11 in x2 x1 x3 are assuming as zero we will get b2 by a22 in x3 x1 x2 are assuming as 0 we will get p3 by a33 so in second approximation we will substitute these values in x1 x2 x3 
to get the second approximation. So after finding the values of second approximations, so we will substitute these values in these equations to get the third approximations. And continuing this process, uh, we will get the accurate uh, root of the given system of equation. So in our example, we are supposing that x1 is x1 of 0 and x2 of 0 and x3 of 0 as 0. So substituting these values in these equations, we will get x1 of 1 is equal to x1 of 1 is equal to 2 by 4 means 0 0.5, x2 of 1 is equal to 3 by 6 means 0 0.5 and x3 of 1 is equal to 6 by 5 is nothing but 1.2. And substitute these values in these equations, we will get a second approximations. So that means x1 of 2 is nothing but 1 by 4 into 2 plus 3 into, we will write 3 into x2 of 1 minus x3 of 1. In the same way, x2 of 1 is equal to 1 by 6 into 3 plus 2x1 of 1 plus x3 of 1 and x3 of 2 is equal to 1 by 5 into 6 minus 3x1 of 1 plus 2x2 of 1. So, uh, substituting these values in these equations, uh, we will get uh, the resultant values uh, as 0 0.575, 0 0.866 and 1.1. So, calculate these uh, using calculator. To calculate in the next approximations, I will enter these equations in calculator. So for this, I will replace in calculator as x1 by a, x2 by b, x3 by c. So for this, I will enter the equations in calculator as I will show you. So for, to write a is equal to just type alpha a here shows a to enter is equal to alpha cal c you will get is equal to so brackets open 2 plus 2 plus 3 b in place of x2 we will enter b alpha b alpha b is there oh, 3b minus c in place of x3 i will enter c alpha c z divided by 4 is divided by 4 so when entering calc c it asks b that means x2 what is my x2 My x2 is 0 0.8866. So enter 0 0.8866. So 0 0.8866 that is equal to. So it asks C that is x3. What is x3? My x3 is 1.1. So I will enter 1.1. 1.1. 1. 1. So the value of uh, a that means x1 gives 0 0.87495 so i will enter my third approximation as 0 0.0.87495 0 okay so now I will enter the second equation. So for this, enter the below arrow. If it, if it exists anything, cancel it. What is the second equation? X2, that means B is equal to, that is alpha B and alpha cal C, B is equal to, B is equal to, brackets open. 3 plus 2x1, x1 means a, alpha a plus x3, that means plus alpha c, 
bracket closer divided by 6. So press cal C, task C. So what is A? A means x1. x1 is 0 0.575. So that means a point 0.575 is equal to the task C. What is C? 1.1. 1.1. .1. 1. Plus is equal to it gives a 0 0.875. So I will enter my x2 value as 0 0.875. And I will enter the third equation. What is the third equation? 1 by 5. So that means c is equal to so alpha c is there c to enter is equal to alpha cal c c is equal to 6 minus brackets open 6 minus 3 x1 means 3 a plus 2 x2 means 2 x2 means b alpha b Right, closer divided by 5. We press cal C. The task say what is A? We have A 0 0.575. 0 0.575. So I will enter 0.575 is equal to it also B. B means x2. x2 is 0 0.8666. I will enter point eight triple six. So is equal to it gives the value of C that means x3. So I will enter x2 value, x3 value. So what is x3? 1.2016. So uh, after entering these equations in calculator, it is very easy. So I will calculate the fourth approximation, the fourth approximation. So to calculate the fourth approximation of x, that means you have to calculate a value. So for this go, press the upward button. So go for a. So it is 2 plus 3b minus a divided by 4. So now uh, substitute the third approximation values third approximation values so remember that y is b and z is equal to c so i will enter in place of b 0 0.875 in place of c 1.2016 so for this i will enter cal c the task is b b means y 0 0.875 is equal to the task is c so what is C? C means Z it is 1.2016 that is equal to so it gives the value of A substituting these values so you will get the fourth approximation of X as 0 0.8558 so to calculate Y that means B so press the below button below arrow button so on pressing the arrow buttons you will get uh, b okay so what is a and c what is a the previous approximation of x that means i will enter cal c a means x 0.8749 and it asks C. In third approximation, what is C? That means Z 1.2016. So that is B value is 0 0.9919. So 0 0.9919. So to calculate Z. Um, press the 
these buttons so you have c here okay so it asks a and b what is a point that means is x so press cal c 0.8749.8749 okay is equal to task b what is b 0.875 so that is equal to 1 1.0250 1.20 1.0 1.0250 so for fifth approximation enter these values in ABC so I'm going for A pressing the forward and below buttons you will get A calculation so enter the present values BC means Y and Z so I'm entering Cal C what is B point double line one nine so that is equal to it also see what is z cal c one point zero two five zero it is a is zero point nine eight seven six zero point nine eight seven six so again what is b what is b uh, 3 plus 2a plus cal c what is a point 85 58 is equal to what is c 1.0250 is equal to 0 0.9561 so go for c C is there to so enter the values of A and B that means uh, X and Y. What is uh, A that means X point eight six eight double five eight B means X Y point uh, double nine one nine. So it gives one point zero eight three one point zero eight three two. So observe that. Uh, Continuing in this process, uh, you will get at the root, but by observing this is approximately equal to 1, and this is approximately equal to 1, and this is approximately equal to 1. So finally, you can conclude that value of x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1, z is equal to 1. Okay, just verify these values in the substituting in the given equation. So I'm substituting the values of uh, x, y, x1, x2, x3 in given equation. So substitute these values. So it is a 3, 3 into 1, 3, minus 2 plus 5 means 8 minus 2 is the 6, 4 minus 3, 1 plus 1 is 2, minus 2 plus 6 is 4, Min minus 1 is 3. So it is the solution of the given system of linear equations.